Peter, it's my understanding that the unique uniqueness of Silver Bullet is about the processing. Talk to us about this. We made it, hey, by the way, good morning, Tracy, and hi, Clint. We made a production decision in May of 2020 that we could get this into production without a PEA, without a feasibility study. We don't need a resource estimate. Just go do it. And one of the reasons we did that is we have John Carter as our CEO. John is a process guy. He has built over 100 mills and processing facilities around the world. So we've been able to take shortcuts that were efficient to get a mill in production. In September of 2021, that was an empty field. In September of 2022, there is a bull mill producing silver in that field. And to a large extent, that's John Carter. Speed to production is part of your uniqueness, yes? Absolutely. That means an efficient use of capital. We didn't have to go raise $100 million to get in production. That mill cost us less than $3 million Canadian. And it is a fully functional 125 tons per day mill. And it's working. I tell people this and they look at me like, no, less than $3 million to buy and build the mill. And it's pushing out 125 tons or chewing through 125 tons of ore a day. So what kind of revenue are we looking at? Because investors out there are going, oh, I, I can barely con conceive of this particular plan of action yeah. where, where I, we're not listening to 15 years of we're exploring and we're drilling and we're exploring and we're drilling. Yeah. We, we explored, we found the silver, and we are producing. Did I hear you correct? Even better. We didn't really explore the property. Um, the family that we're working with in Globe, Arizona, has known about this asset since around 1980. The Murphy family is wonderful. There's cousins, there's nephews, there's uncles, there's aunts, and they've all worked the property. They all know it. We're looking at a two mile long vein that expresses itself at surface. Then it goes into an adit that the old timers chased, and then it comes out again. So the Murphy family knowledge has been wonderful. We have not had to waste money on drilling. Like drilling is a really, really expensive test theory. Hey, do you think there's something there? I don't know. Let's drill it. Right? In Northern Ontario, it's about mm, currently about $200 a meter to drill a hole. That's an expensive testing of a thesis. So down in Arizona, we know where the vein is. You can stand at our at it and look down the hill. You can see the vein down there. You can see the vein coming up the hill. You can see the vein on our hill. You can see it going into the at it, and you can see the vein going up. And on our Twitter feed, I published pictures of this you, and a video. You can follow the vein. We have not had to drill. Drilling is expensive. All we've done is follow the vein. So the, at the Buckeye Silver Mine, we've pulled ore. We processed the low-grade material to get the mill working correctly. And as of last week, the mill is working perfectly. So we're processing the higher-grade material now, and we're going to generate revenue and cash flow. So based on this kind of speed to production, can you tell us, Peter, what we as shareholders should anticipate in the upcoming quarter or two? Sure. Um, I meet with the CFO on a daily basis to talk about what we can disclose. Without a PEA, without a resource estimate, we have to be very careful under 43101 to make sure we don't say anything that we're not supposed to say. We can only disclose things that have actually happened. So we're going to wait for a couple of weeks to produce so we know grade, we know volume. Uh, we, we've announced that we've had our first uh, purchase order for 50 kilograms, which is about 1,800 ounces, which is about 30,000 USD, which is not a huge amount of money, but it's a sample run from a purchaser in Europe who has put, its, put up its hand and said, we will buy everything that you produce. If you make it, we will buy it. Now, it'd be foolish for us to have only one purchaser. But that's the kind of demand that we have for our silver. So as long as we can make it, we're going to have people buying it. And we will report that as soon as we can. I know that's a bit of a vague answer, but it's the best one I have right now. Peter, you're one of the most prolific social media people on the entire planet. So I recommend for anybody interested in Silver Bullet, follow Peter Clausey on Twitter. Peter, thank you for your update today. And for more information, please go to the Silver Bullet website. Thank you. Thank you, Tracy. Always nice to see you.